Yeshua said unto the people, Ye are witnesses against yourselves that ye have chosen you, the Lord, to serve him. And they said, We are witnesses. Now therefore put away, said he, the strange gods which are among you, and incline your heart unto the Lord God of Israel. And the people said unto Joshua, The Lord our God will be served, and his voice will we obey. So Joshua made a covenant with the people that day, and set them a statute and an ordinance in Shechem. And Joshua wrote these words in the book of the law of God, and took a great stone, and set it up there under an oak that was by the sanctuary of the Lord. And Joshua said unto all the people, Behold, this stone shall be a witness unto us, for it hath heard all the words of the Lord which he spake unto us. It shall be therefore a witness unto you, lest ye deny your God. So Joshua let the people depart, every man unto his inheritance. And it came to pass after these things, that Joshua the son of Nun, the servant of the Lord, died, being an hundred and ten years old. And they buried him in the border of his inheritance in timnath Sira, which is in Mount Ephraim, on the north side of the hill of Gaash. And Israel served the Lord all the days of Joshua, and all the days of the elders that overlived Joshua, and which had known all the works of the Lord that he had done for Israel. And the bones of Joseph, which the children of Israel brought up out of Egypt, buried they in Shechem, in a parcel of ground which Jacob bought of the sons of Hamor, the father of Shechem, for an hundred pieces of silver. And it became the inheritance of the children of Joseph. And Eleazar the son of Aaron died, and they buried him in a hill that pertained to Phinehas his son, which was given him in Mount Ephraim. The Book of Judges Chapter 1 Judah, Simeon, and Joseph continue to conquer the Canaanites. Remnants of the Canaanites remain in the lands of Judah, Manasseh, Ephraim, Zebulun, Asher, Naphtali, and Dan. Now after the death of Joshua, it came to pass that the children of Israel asked the Lord, saying, Who shall go up for us against the Canaanites first, to fight against them? And the Lord said, Judah shall go up. Behold, I have delivered the land into his hand. And Judah said unto Simeon his brother, Come up with me into my lot, that we may fight against the Canaanites. And I likewise will go with thee into thy lot. So Simeon went with him, and Judah went up, and the Lord delivered the Canaanites and the Perizzites into their hand, and they slew of them in Bezek ten thousand men. And they found Adonai Bezek in Bezek, and they fought against him, and they slew the Canaanites and the Perizzites. But Adonai Bezek fled, and they pursued after him, and caught him, and cut off his thumbs and his great toes. And Adonai Bezek said, Three score and ten kings, having their thumbs and their great toes cut off, gathered their meat under my table. As I have done, so God hath requited me. And they brought him to Jerusalem, and there he died. Now the children of Judah had fought against Jerusalem, and had taken it, and smitten it with the edge of the sword, and set the city on fire. And afterward the children of Judah went down to fight against the Canaanites that dwelt in the mountain, and in the south, and in the valley. And Judah went against the Canaanites that dwelt in Hebron. Now the name of Hebron before was Kirjath Arba, and they slew Shishai, and Ahiman, and Talmai. And from thence he went against the inhabitants of Deber, and the name of Deber before was Kirjath Sefer. And Caleb said, He that smiteth Kirjath Sefer, and taketh it, to him will I give Aksa my daughter to wife. And Othniel the son of Kenaz, Caleb's younger brother, took it, and he gave him Aksa his daughter to wife. And it came to pass, when she came to him, that she moved him to ask of her father a field. And she lighted from off her ass, and Caleb said unto her, What wilt thou? And she said unto him, Give me a blessing, for thou hast given me a south land, give me also springs of water. And Caleb gave her the upper springs and the nether springs. And the children of the Kenite, Moses' father-in-law, went up out of the city of palm trees with the children of Judah into the wilderness of Judah, which lieth in the south of Arad. And they went and dwelt among the people. 
and Judah went with Simeon his brother, and they slew the Canaanites that inhabited Zephath, and utterly destroyed it. And the name of the city was called Hormah. Also Judah took Gaza with the coast thereof, and Ascalon with the coast thereof, and Ekron with the coast thereof. And the Lord was with Judah, and he drave out the inhabitants of the mountain, but could not drive out the inhabitants of the valley, because they had chariots of iron. And they gave Hebron unto Caleb, as Moses said, and he expelled thence the three sons of Anak. And the children of Benjamin did not drive out the Jebusites that inhabited Jerusalem, but the Jebusites dwell with the children of Benjamin in Jerusalem unto this day. And the house of Joseph, they also went up against Bethel, and the Lord was with them. And the house of Joseph sent to describe Bethel. Now the name of the city before was Luz. And the spies saw a man come forth out of the city, and they said unto him, Show us, we pray thee, the entrance into the city, and we will show thee mercy. And when he showed them the entrance into the city, they smote the city with the edge of the sword. But they let go the man and all his family. And the man went into the land of the Hittites, and built a city, and called the name thereof Luz, which is the name thereof unto this day. Neither did Manasseh drive out the inhabitants of Bethshean and her towns, nor Teanach and her towns, nor the inhabitants of Dor and her towns, nor the inhabitants of Iblium and her towns, nor the inhabitants of Megiddo and her towns. But the Canaanites would dwell in that land. And it came to pass, when Israel was strong, that they put the Canaanites to tribute, and did not utterly drive them out. Neither did Ephraim drive out the Canaanites that dwelt in Gezer. But the Canaanites dwelt in Gezer among them. Neither did Zebulun drive out the inhabitants of Kitron, nor the inhabitants of Nahalo. But the Canaanites dwelt among them and became tributaries. Neither did Asher drive out the inhabitants of Akko, nor the inhabitants of Zidon, nor of Alab, nor of Akzib, nor of Helba, nor of Aphek, nor of Rehob. But the Asherites dwelt among the Canaanites, the inhabitants of the land for they did not drive them out. Neither did Naphtali drive out the inhabitants of Beth Shemesh, nor the inhabitants of Beth Anath. But he dwelt among the Canaanites, the inhabitants of the land. Nevertheless, the inhabitants of Beth Shemesh and of Beth Anath became tributaries unto them. And the Amorites forced the children of Dan into the mountain, for they would not suffer them to come down to the valley. But the Amorites would dwell in Mount Heres in Ajalon and in Shealbim. Yet the hand of the house of Joseph prevailed, so that they became tributaries. And the coast of the Amorites was from the going up to Akrabim, from the rock and upward. Chapter 2 An angel rebukes Israel for not serving the Lord. As a pattern of future events, a new generation arises that forsakes the Lord, and serves Baal and Ashtaroth. The Lord is angry with the children of Israel and ceases to preserve them. He raises up judges to guide and lead them. The Canaanites are left in the land to test Israel. And an angel of the Lord came up from Gilgal to Bochum and said, I made you to go up out of Egypt and have brought you unto the land which I swear unto your fathers. And I said, I will never break my covenant with you. And ye shall make no league with the inhabitants of this land ye shall throw down their altars. But ye have not obeyed my voice. Why have ye done this? Wherefore I also said, I will not drive them out from before you, but they shall be as thorns in your sides, and their gods shall be a snare unto you. And it came to pass when the angel of the Lord spake these words unto all the children of Israel, that the people lifted up their voice and wept. And they called the name of that place Bochum and they sacrificed there unto the Lord. And when Joshua had let the people go, the children of Israel went, every man, unto his inheritance to possess the land. And the people served the Lord all the days of Joshua, and all the days of the elders that outlived Joshua, who had seen all the great works of the Lord that he did for Israel. And Joshua the son of Nun, the servant of the Lord, died, being an hundred and ten years old. And they buried him in the border of his inheritance, in timnath Hires, in the Mount of Ephraim, on the north side of the hill Geash. 
and also all that generation were gathered unto their fathers, and there arose another generation after them, which knew not the Lord, nor yet the works which he had done for Israel. And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord, and served Balaam. And they forsook the Lord God of their fathers, which brought them out of the land of Egypt, and followed other gods, of the gods of the people that were round about them, and bowed themselves unto them, and provoked the Lord to anger. And they forsook the Lord, and served Baal and Ashtaroth. And the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel, and he delivered them into the hands of spoilers that spoiled them. And he sold them into the hands of their enemies round about, so that they could not any longer stand before their enemies. Whithersoever they went out, the hand of the Lord was against them for evil, as the Lord had said, and as the Lord had sworn unto them, and they were greatly distressed. Nevertheless the Lord raised up judges, which delivered them out of the hand of those that spoiled them. And yet they would not hearken unto their judges, but they went a-whoring after other gods, and bowed themselves unto them. They turned quickly out of the way which their fathers walked in, obeying the commandments of the Lord, but they did not so. And when the Lord raised them up judges, then the Lord was with the judge, and delivered them out of the hand of their enemies all the days of the judge. For it repented the Lord because of their groanings by reason of them that oppressed them and vexed them. And it came to pass, when the judge was dead, that they returned, and corrupted themselves more than their fathers, in following other gods to serve them, and to bow down unto them. They ceased not from their own doings, nor from their stubborn way. And the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel. And he said, Because that this people hath transgressed my covenant which I commanded their fathers, and have not hearkened unto my voice, I also will not henceforth drive out any from before them of the nations which Joshua left when he died. Through them I may prove Israel, whether they will keep the way of the Lord to walk therein, as their fathers did keep it, or not. Therefore the Lord left those nations without driving them out hastily, Neither delivered he them into the hand of Joshua. No. No. Did you reset the router? I did one. I don't know. I'm not doing anything.
Achoof! Everyone's gonna do a, a bunch of dishes with me today. Everyone's gonna do at least ten dishes. Okay. By the way, uh... The router is kind of not doing great right now.
good doggo. We got a good doggo, Steve right here. Stevie the girl. Girl Steve. Oh, girl Stevie. Oh, I love you.
Foggy, you're annoying me right now. But I don't know what your deal is.
You guys leaving? Yeah. I want you to do a sink full of dishes before you go. Yeah. Okay? Just throw them in the dishwasher. Like, scrub them. Make sure they're going to get clean in the dishwasher. Okay? okay please.
Oops, I need more arrows.
on so far? Yeah. I will today, though, before we take them home. I'll do that. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you going? I'm not sure. How long are you going to be gone? When are you going to be back? No. no. That's too late. Seven. How about five? Five? Okay. Hey, is your phone all charged up and stuff? My phone is completely charged. We have an extra charger. We've got extra camera batteries and a charger for that. Okay, call me if there's any difficulties. Dang it. Got the glass. 